Yes! The sword is my master! Oh, just kidding. It's not actually my master in sand poop. I'm my own sand poop! What's up, dudes and dudes? It's the air now. My name's Seth, and we are back again for an outro. <laughs> Die, fish! Hi, how y'all doing? Hope you're doing fantastically wonderful. Hope this video makes your day even better, everybody. I am the clown of death! Kill me! No, later. Okay, so, without further ado, this is story mode where we're all hanging out in my secret area where I trade with people and stuff, and here's my blue screen which I end up using for, oh my goodness, it hurts my eyes. Let us teleport to Ring Around and Rosie. Let, we, we gotta go to a U6 portal because we're doing a challenge today, everybody, as the final goodbye uh, before the whole Trove One Year thing ends up expiring, which... When this video comes out, the patch will have already hit with the Trove One Year expiring and being out and everything like that. But for right now, it's still on for me as I'm recording this because, you know, I got to record these like a day or two in advance so that I can do other things. You remember this place? Man, this was one of the first builds that me and Sith Poop made. Sithy made that room. I made this room. Windows logo. I didn't even intend for that. And also, a lot of you may or may not know, but look, I am the evil chicken. This was actually one of the first things that I threw in the club a million zillion years ago because I wanted to throw it in with my lore. What? It, what? Uh, uh, it's a demon fish tank. Seriously, send it away. <laughs> so before we get started, before we get started, before we get started, oh yes, oh yes. That's a weird song I'm working on. JK, he is my best friend, Jub Jub. That one's kind of a song that I'm half working on. Um, so anyways, we've got um, crazy prizes today for the last day. Thanks to... Where are the people? Where are the people? Where are the people? Counter Cow gave me a ton of these prizes. And then we also got Potent Shadow and... Chronozilla for giving us all these prizes. So for today, we're going to be giving away a cybernetic catalog, which is just the tome that you end up using that produces 15 robotic salvage for pretty much every 20 dungeons you end up completing. Uh, then there's Radical Rainbow Wings, Chaotic Cruiser, a big bomb tome, which is crazy as well, True Fire Phoenix, Kabiri the Fire Tamer, which is the fire bird that makes you walk on lava and nobody cares, but he's beautiful because he's Moltres, and Zero Line Wings. So if you want any of those things everybody you're going to have to uh keep both of your eyes wide open and make sure that you don't accidentally click something else but you can't walk <laughs> click the like button for me i would very much appreciate it uh also just to support the videos and stuff like that even if well even if the prizes and junk like that uh but either way for the prizes you're gonna have to click the like button be subscribed to the channel leave your comment in the comment section down below with your username and it, i think we killed him with our body weight uh no it's because we're the clown of death um <laughs> and then you're gonna have to uh you'll get a reply from scarlet the spider on your comment letting you know uh that you've won only only the winners of course uh and then for what we're doing for today's challenge what is this okay so complete six dungeons Oh, just six dungeons in general. It didn't have to be used six. I misread. Field of view. Ten. FOV ten. I suck at typing. And retro mode. Whoa, jeez Louise. <laughs> All right, or I can use 25. Yep, I would rather use 25. That makes it a little bit more understandable. Oh my goodness gracious. Wait, are we- complete six dungeons? Yeah, screw that. We'll just complete as many as we can, because otherwise I know this is the giant Fey dungeon, and although we could blast our way down in there just to get inside, seriously. So this was by Licorice Lord, ended up requesting this one, and oh boy. Is it even gonna work? I don't know. <laughs> makes Trove, like, it, it makes it so different to play it, like, in kind of- it's kind of like a third-person shooter now, you know? What the- Oh man, and with retro mode- Oh no, there's some guy coming at me! With retro mode, I can't even tell like where the doorways are and stuff like that. I mean, thank goodness it's only U6. I think that freak ended up walking past us. I can't even tell what's happening, dude. <laughs> like, especially with- especially with the doorways- Oh, look, there he is. 
staring into my soul. <laughs> and he just said, I'm so nervous. Like, why, dude? You don't gotta be nervous. Ooh, slash shove. You gotta be careful because you can end up, like, all these walls blend into each other, so I can't really tell, like, are we actually going downstairs? The only reason that I know is because I'm so good at this game, and I'm playing for, like, almost two years that I just know everything that's going on. Oh my goodness gracious. I never thought, too. I wonder what the uh, aura for drops and stuff like that, the mod that I'm using, I wonder what that looks like in retro mode. That'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? What is all that garbage? Get out of my way. The red items look really, really cool. Ah, yeah. This actually, like, this really feels like a different game, doesn't it? Imagine if this is what Trove was the whole time. Like, this is one of the weirdest games I've ever seen. <laughs> it makes, like, that's the thing. It's so funny. It makes Trove, like, weird. Go through the portal, you idiot. There we go. At least we got to use the map. I didn't mean that other guy meant me. Oh, oh, we barely have any draw distance like this. Jeez Louise, are we actually flying? I can't tell. There's no depth perception. <laughs> oh, spikes and traps. That should be another goal is not to end up getting hit by any of the spikes or traps or anything. Jeez Louise. <laughs> And we're supposed to complete how many dungeons like this? Oh boy. We'll, we'll do like maybe one more just because it already took like 50 years to do this. Jeez. Okay, maybe we'll, well, that was our second dungeon. Let's, oh, um, okay, which direction? Let's do uh, three more dungeons. So we'll do these two over here uh, and then one more. <laughs> These challenges are kind of cool though. I like them. So if you have any challenge uh, suggestions yourself, there's been so many people commenting for the uh, prizes and stuff like that. Hopefully we'll be able to catch them in the comment section, but if you want to like actually like get to me and I'm not just doing this with self advertising stuff uh, but yeah I usually will respond and be able to see my Twitter messages a lot easier because there's not as many people on there kind of like spamming me with stuff um, as much as there is under under YouTubes uh, but I'm, I'm just saying that's just for more like diehard fans and stuff like that otherwise I'm not like oh you have to follow me on Twitter <laughs> I'm a bird anybody see the Angry Birds movie it was it was okay I can I laughed a few times, right? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! How do we even tell? How do you trove like that? <laughs> this is insane. Do the challenge yourselves, everybody. Seriously, this is just this is this is nuts. I love retro mode though. This reminds me. I, maybe that's why I'm feeling oddly nostalgic while doing this. Is because I ended up doing something very similar a long, long time ago. I don't know why I'm doing this. Hey, what's the matter? You want enough for the spaghetti? Uh, you know, like a mobster thing or something? I don't know. I don't like spaghetti. <laughs> I like penne instead. Um, but yeah, you can uh, bring your field of view into like this. And then if we would actually do like slash hide player, troll first person. Kind of, because we're playing third person right now, and I, I remember that was so cool, I was exploring houses in the hub like this with retro mode once, and it's just like, I love retro mode, I really do. I wish that there was a way to make this same thing, like the cartoonish vibes, without making it as, like, uh, pixelated, but it's pretty cool being this close and zoomed in and stuff, because it ends up making it look, you know, it's all right. Either way, thanks for watching, everybody. That was a lot of fun. Um, tomorrow's going to be the patch notes video because it always has to be a day after. Oh, my goodness. These portals look beautiful with retro mode. I'm going to keep wandering around and do some more retro mode. The clown's still scary. Thanks for watching, everybody. Sign and stay epic. <laughs>